Hey everybody, this is uh, Tyler Binkley here and I'm going over the loop jumper section of Swift Playgrounds. Uh, if you take a look at the table of contents here, this is in the for loops chapter and it is in our learn to code one program. So if we go and take a look at loop jumper, here's what it says. Challenge, identify the repeating pattern for jumping through the portals. In this challenge, a simple pattern works for each of the gems. Figure out how to collect the first gem and then see if that same pattern works for all of the gems. So this one, this one is pretty challenging um, at first. You know, it takes some time to recognize the pattern. And I think part of the problem is that there's just a lot of gems going on, especially early on uh, in the beginning of this, this section here in front of Byte. And so it's kind of hard to figure out, like, what, what are we supposed to do here, you know? Um, are we supposed to go and get the one gem that's at the bottom of the steps first? And then like, where do we go? Do we go to the one that's, that's next to the green portal or, or do we go to the one that next to the, that's next to the purple portal? And that's one of the challenges with this, um, with this map for sure. And, you know, I think the first thing is that like it kind of said is that, you know, we want to first see if we can get to that first gem and, and then go from there maybe a little bit. And so if I tap to enter code, uh, let's see, I, I definitely have to move forward, putting myself in bite shoes here. I want to move forward. I'm going to have to have him turn left to face the stairway there because um, we can't just jump off the platform and go straight. So we're going to turn left. We're going to have to move forward. It looks like two times to get to the very first gem. Let's just see if I did that right. Okay, and we get to that very first gem. Now, uh, obviously, once we get to a gem, we want to collect the gem. And then from here, I mean, this is where it becomes tricky. It's like, you know, what do we want to do next? Obviously, I think we have to turn right, so that way we can uh, uh, face the next set of gems. And we're going to have to move forward. And when we run this quickly, you know, we, we see that we get to that gem make the right turn. But now the question is, is do we go to the right bytes right? Or do we go to the left? Do we go to the one near the green portal or near the purple portal? Um, and that's where it's a little challenging, you know? Uh, so, you know, when you are looking, uh, you know, at this map uh, from the beginning, I think what's hard is to figure out where the pattern might be. And if I were to just restart this, which I know is kind of counterintuitive here, but I'm going to restart because I want to show you something. And um, which is always an option, those three dots, nice little option there to restart. And if you look, and I took a screenshot over here on, on Notability, and this is so that I can write on it. But you look here, you know, it looks like if we were in this spot where we ended up, and let's say we went to this gem up above next to the green portal. And then we get that gem and we're, we're going to have to go probably, I mean, we could turn around and go back and get that other one, but we're looking for patterns, right? So let's say we went into the green portal. Okay, now look at that, right? The reason why I say that is because now that green portal is going to take me over here. Now watch. This was a total of what? One and just actually just two, just two, one, um, one, two spaces, right? It was just two spaces there. And look, one, two, to get to that gem. And then let's just say if we're looking for a pattern, we would go to the right. And do you see how that right there is, a, is the same pattern? And we could even apply that again where, okay, if we go forward two times to the next gem, get that gem, and then turn right, okay? I know it's three-dimensional, so it doesn't look the same, but that is two tiles ahead. It's the exact same. I mean, this pattern here and this pattern here and this pattern there are all the exact same, okay? And then we think, okay, well, that would get me to this next portal, right? Because then we would move forward one, two, and like we've been. We've been moving forward two times each time, right? Like this was one, two spaces, one, two, one, two. So even if right at this location, at the very end, right there, I'm going to go up one, get to the portal, and I'm going to go up two and get to that gem. 
And yeah, like I'm not turning right anymore and that might run into a little bit of a mistake, but otherwise you've got this little L pattern that's basically happening every single time, right? Um, if we look again, just look again real quick. So we got an L, an upside down L, an L, an L, and an L, all upside down Ls, but they all are the same. And then right there, another, well, not really an L, but just really at the straight up and down part. So I think that's going to be the key for solving the loop jumper. So what I noticed is because of that L, I, I want to get to this spot. And, and when I say this spot, I mean, I want to get to the beginning right there and get set so that I can make all these L's a loop. Because that's one of the nice things about this section that we're in is looping saves us time. So if I tap here, I'm going to move forward and I'm going to turn left. That way I'm all set. Right now I should be set right on that spot that I mentioned. Okay. And now I'm going to do a little for loop. Okay. Remember a loop, we can put in the number of times we want the same thing to repeat. So I'm going to think, all right, about that L, if I was looking back at this page, it looks like I had, let's see, how many were there total? This would be from here to here is one, two, three, four, and then five for that very last one. So I'm going to start with the number five. Okay, now I have to bring that up from the keyboard. And now I need to go into the code. And now I'm coding that L. So let's think about that L for a second. Now, remember, I should be, I'm basically right here. I'm right here. And I'm facing that direction. So now I'm trying to do the L. So let's see, that's going to be a move forward twice, which is what we talked about earlier. And then I'm going to collect the gem. And then I'm going to turn right. And then I'm going to move forward. And let's just see, you know, now that tells me, I, I think I'm still going to have to turn left to face the left direction to get ready to go to the next L. But let's just see what happens with this right now. I, I really don't know what's going to happen here. So let's see. Okay, so we did the first L right there. Okay. And it looks like we're working. And if I do step through my code, we can see it's moving forward. Moving forward, collecting gem, turning right, moving forward, and then turning left. And then it just repeats the whole process. Move forward, move forward. We're going down the steps there. Collect gem, turn right, move forward, turn left, and start again. This would be the last time. Move forward, move forward, collect gem. Now look, turn right, move forward. It's not going to be able to do this. And we might think, oh, well, we made a mistake. Not really. I mean, it still worked. It got us to the very end. And it's telling us very good. So there you go. I mean, with, with doing the loop and figuring out that more challenging pattern this time, we're able to complete that code in very few lines compared to probably solving it a different way. So I hope you found this video helpful. Uh, like and subscribe.